Founded in 1957, Africa Medical and Research Foundation evolved to become Amref Health Africa. We are truly African, connected in the spirit of Ubuntu. We are deeply rooted in the communities we serve. We are part of a larger global team that helps make a healthy Africa possible. And our strength and strategy is to partner with communities. With regional hubs in both West and Southern Africa, five regional offices, our collective footprint on the African continent is in 35 countries. But this is the story of just one. Uganda. In 1987, when Amref came to Uganda, the country had some very real challenges. Infant mortality rates were high, and mortality rates for children under five years old were even higher. The country also recorded depressing maternal mortality numbers. But also, there were hundreds of dilapidated health facilities and thousands of semi-skilled health workers. So as AMRIF, we developed a strategic six-point action plan to focus on safe pregnancy and expanded reproductive health, to scale up HIV, tuberculosis, and malaria responses, to reduce child mortality and morbidity, to manage disease control through WASH programs that focus on water, sanitation, and hygiene, to extend quality medical, surgical, and diagnostic services to disadvantaged communities. To develop a strong research and innovation portfolio to contribute to health improvements. With those goals in mind, we quickly got to work. We trained and empowered ordinary citizens like Ruth to become advocates for safe pregnancy and reproductive health through the Village Health Team System. <laughs> Ne mosomesa, ebirungi, ebiri mu kugenda okunywa eddagala mu ddwaliro nza abana bangi yagenda kuweza ngo mwaka ngani no lubuto naye kati omwana agenda kuweza ne miyaka ebiri sinda ba kuchirowoza ko kubaya nsomesa nenda be kirungi ekibirimu sobode no kwetandikirawo akali munali sikola nga kubala buli sawa mbera ni na baby ndi lubuto and like in gulu we put up better healthcare facilities in amuru and across the country and hmm. mrefo so painted for us the place the ceiling board was almost falling on our what? On the mothers. Amref managed to what? To fix for us that wire mess. Huh? That's why you see it now very clean. The old delivery bed was really too old and uh, we decided to put it outside. Now Amref brought for us this one here, which is so good and it is portable. Hmm? So as soon as a mother delivers from the, from the labor suit, we bring her straight to the bathroom. She showers up, hmm? changes the pad, dresses up hmm? nicely, and then goes to postnatal hmm? when she's very clean. To tackle the scourge of HIV and AIDS, we put men at the forefront of prevention. By motivating over 340,000 men to get safe male circumcision procedures, we averted at least 16,000 new HIV infections. To reduce morbidity of children, we invested in infrastructure like the children's wing of Gulu Regional Referral Hospital. In 2004, at the peak of insurgency in the north, many children were running from the villages coming to town. And there were, at that time, we used to call them night commuters. So immediately we thought, please Amref, provide us with some big tents so that we can separate these children, the male differently from the female. So Amref did that one immediately. They went ahead to construct this building you see behind here. Inflow of patients suffering from common ailments that could be got from the hospital like diarrhea, eye diseases, cabbies went down. In our quest to improve welfare, we also built houses for desperate single parent households. Yamlefu, Yavin Kolera, 
nabana nabalisa yabajanga nga baba obuyambi we implemented wash programs in schools like St Martin's Mulago and slums like Katanga to prevent diseases caused by dirty water as well as poor hygiene and sanitation. We've done quite a lot. To begin with, we have um, three water tanks for the purpose of water harvesting. Right now we are at one of the tanks. There are two other tanks within the school, same capacity. And then AMREF has gone ahead to provide safe drinking water, purified water. We have been telling them they should not bother buying mineral water. And we tell them we cannot afford to give them water from the shops when we have our own mineral water generated within the school. And they are so excited about that. And in Luero, our wash activities were even more ambitious. We set up a rock water harvesting system to support over 30,000 residents. So after the war, uh, this area that we are standing in, this place, AMREF came up and uh, they partnered with the districts and to see that they improve uh, uh, the sanitation and, and access to water in this area, the communities. Now this area is uh, on the Kampala Guru Highway and uh, it is in a sub-county called Butuntumura. This sub-county has over 30,000 people and we expected the 30,000 people to access clean and safe water from this point. Amazi gamu lefugano, tuka kozi sezu kumale banga li amiaka kuminaitano. Amazi gamu gatu yambie, mungeri yeche ya ngomesana guwaka. Elaga tukua atiri denyo, kumale banga. Tuliba sanyifunyo, ulo chitongole cha amu lefu, project ya tule tila kuchitundu, ya chituwe nyo buchafu, walivu itiri de, nga bantu bako zibate kwa uvi mbuvera, Nebabuka suka na echa mkusamulu nye ntikati tuso voloko esa project chenu neba ngekende ze zobu chafu. As we worked to extend high quality surgical and diagnostic services, deserving women like Christine got fistula surgery. I got fistula in 2014. Life was very hard for me because staying among the staff was a bit difficult and most of the time I need to pad myself. When I went to Gulo Main Hospital, AMREF really did a lot. They immediately started working on me the following day. They operated me and they facilitated all necessary support. And uh, the husband himself became very happy. The life became more productive, I think. Out of that, I've received a newborn baby Daniela, a team as a result of the help from the Hamref. We continue to champion innovation. Our support for the e-learning program in Chambogo is evidence of that. Uh, Amref has also championed the e-learning program. The advantage of e-learning uh, is that it has made studying very easy, whereby those who are studying, they can be in position to pay their tuition because they work as well as studying. But we have also encouraged innovation in areas like water purification, using the solvatan and solar wave systems. This is the old system of, that we used to boil water and this system was provided by AMREF. After looking at the inefficiency of this one, compared to the number of people in the school, then AMREF came in and brought the solar wave system to replace the solver tent. Once the water has been purified and treated, the children now come and fetch uh, water from these taps. But AMREF has also taken on bold tasks like investing in educational infrastructure. From 2008, there was need to increase on the enrollment of the public health nurses. And that's when AMREF came on board whereby they constructed the administration block which has got also the IT room and the library. Actually we are very grateful to AMREF because by the time they came in 2008 we are enrolling something like eight students but right now as I'm talking we are in 300 students. And we made the ultimate health investment when we built the state-of-the-art Kidgum Fico treatment facility. This project 
is part of the MDG intervention of the European Union in uh, African, Caribbean, Pacific countries under the, what we call the EU water facility. The idea here is basically to help uh, towns in Uganda with slum areas where they have on-site sanitation to help those towns in the management of the sludge coming from the pit latrines. The product we get from here, uh, we use it as a manure where we remove the sludge and treat it and it can be used as a manure. In every program, at every turn, we have purpose to contribute to lasting health change. And the numbers tell of our success. We have trained over 12,000 village health team coordinators. We have supported over 443 facilities. We have trained over 3,000 lab technicians. We have extended HIV AIDS service access to over 1.6 million people. Over 8.1 million people have benefited from our outreach programs. Over 2.9 million people have accessed our transformative WASH services. For over 9.5 million people, we have improved reproductive, maternal, newborn, child and adolescent health care. For over 10,800 people, we have provided specialized clinical diagnostic services. But whether it's looking back at everything we've achieved together, or looking forward at the possibilities. We can't do any of it without you. So from millions of Ugandans, thank you.